Hi, this is JP Morgan and Lars Lindstrom. And we got a little segment here that's Lars's favorite, and he's going to introduce us. Uh, great information. So. I don't know if it's necessarily my favorite uh, segment, but we'll talk about it. I'm shooting a feature film right now in, in Arizona, and uh, I had a first AC that came on the project. It's a micro low budget feature, and um, he is not an experienced first AC, he's more of a DP actually, uh, but just kind of for his own little things. And he came on and said, I'm, I'm not an experienced AC, what can you teach me? And I, and I thought about it, I, I, I don't know, I've never been an AC, but let's, let me think about the things that I like. So I just kind of want to go over some of the things that as a DP I'm looking for in a talented first AC. First and foremost, the obvious uh, things you got to be good at is focus. But we're not going to be talking about focus today, I'm just going to talk about a couple of so you usually have them on your uh, focus assist, he'll be looking, pulling focus. Oh yeah, yeah. so the, the primary response, responsibility of a first AC is to nail the focus every time. So if you're, if you're on Steadicam, they know how to, how to do the wireless bar tech or Preston wireless follow focus. If you're on, uh, if you're on the barrel, even if they can pull from the barrel, but it's just kind of getting familiar with different types of lenses and what the focus throw is on them. And uh, so that's, that's first and, and foremost right there. But. Um, some of the little tips that I think are incredibly helpful that go a long way. Uh, my favorite and probably the most important for me is every time I put in a, a new card into the camera, I have the first AC put a piece of tape and label the number of the card that's going in. So right now we have a, which is a camera, and 001. So this is the first card we're putting in on the shoot. Card's full, AC, takes the tape off, pulls the card out of the camera. It's a small little card. And then, yeah, this is a tiny card, but I will actually have them wrap the card with tape. So wrap around the front so you cannot physically put this into a computer unless you pull the tape off. This is to know that this card is hot. It is full of information and you cannot take this tape off unless you are putting it in a computer and you are downloading information immediately. So on a, on a traditional film set, the first AC will then hand this to the, the digital imaging technician or the DIT um, or the second AC and it's then captured onto a card or uh, onto a computer hard drive. So, but if you don't have that luxury of that happening right there, you put it back in your case. Yeah. So, so you can put whatever. it back in your case, which makes me nervous. But sure. I mean, that's we've all been there. So yeah. So this this same system works really well though. Where you can put it's this in your idea. case, and you know that you cannot physically put this back into the camera because you have to pull this tape off. On a set, because I'm I'm shooting on Reds or Alexa. A 64 gig card burns really quickly in every 12 minutes or so. So, um, so I mean, we're changing cards a lot. Like really so this is a very important system. Um, and what I what I have my digital imaging technician or the DIT do is take the piece of tape, put it in the card, and then put the tape on top of the card reader, so that at the end of the day we can count all of our oh, so pieces of there. tape, make sure we've got everything. We're not formatting cards. Everything's perfect. And uh, so that, that goes a long way, actually. These are great tips, even for stills. I mean, if you're doing, anytime yeah. you're doing multiple cards and you're having Yeah, that whole wrapping, this is, this is something great that I, they didn't teach me in film school, but we just started doing it on set because we realized that putting tape on, on the side of the card just wasn't the same. You know, yeah. once you put it around, you know, this is hot. Um, and then you bring it back to camera, you just put a new piece of tape on, we're A002 now. So uh, the first AC is responsible to, to know the next card number and to cue that up so you don't get those out of order. Or, exactly. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I like um, in terms of tape and labeling is every time I, if I have a map box on my set and I drop in glass, like I say, hey, you know, it's a little bright outside, drop in an ND 6 or 12 or 3, whatever. Um, I have them, whatever the ND is, put a bright piece of tape on the map box so that when I'm here on operator side, if it's starting to get a little dark, I have this reminder, the vis visual reminder here that I've got some glass in front of the stop lens. Or two stop in the in there. Yeah. yeah, and I can tell the AC pull that. There's different systems on changing lenses. This is how I like to do it. If I say, hey, AC, yeah. give me a 50, 50 millimeter lens, um, I'll have him go to the case, take the front cap and rear cap off of the lens, and then. Okay, all right, I'll do that. Yeah, okay, all I'll right. Do that for you. Here, yeah. go into the case. All right, there you go. I'm coming back. Coming back with the lens. Okay, no, 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 two hands. You gotta ah, bring it back okay. with two hands. Yeah, so, so two hands, usually on bigger lenses, you can, you can do one hand around the barrel and one hand in front of the lens, like that. So, okay. and these are tiny lenses, they're, they're meant to be tiny lenses, so it's a little bit different here. But um, I will pull the lens off the camera. I say, you ready? He goes, ready? Yep, so I pull the lens off camera, I've got two hands on it, and I will actually have the AC. The AC puts this on. Put the lens on. Okay, 
I'll hand this other lens back to the AC. He goes back to the case while I get my matte box and follow focus all set up for that new lens. What else? There's um, information is key for a first AC. So as a DP, I've got I'm I'm the head of a couple of departments. I've got grip and gaff and then uh, camera that I'm trying to oversee at one time. So. Anytime, you know, my AC, the more information he knows, the more he gets things set for me, the less I have to worry about. Um, if, I, if he knows I'm shooting at an F4, uh, he'll bring the lens back already set to an F4 if it's a, ma if it's a manual uh, aperture lens. Do you record your settings on a piece of tape? Because I've done that. Uh, the Where camera settings are on a piece of tape. On the, the script supervisor will do that. So yeah. the script supervisor will come up to me and say, what lens are we shooting? What's the focal length? And um, what's your aperture? He'll get that information from me. No, I'm just saying when I shot, I'll put it on, on camera so that oh, the, interesting. so that you know when he brings the lens back, he knows that where they've been. And the AC is responsible to pull that and keep that up to date, so that <laughs> every time a new lens goes on, every time you do a new stop, he puts a new piece of tape on, so that he knows or she knows that when they bring a lens, that's where they set it. Right. So usually, I mean, if, it depends on the. Like I'll set up a different f-stop depending on the location, mm -hmm. but uh, through, throughout a scene I will try not to change my f-stop or yeah. ISO. So once I once I have my f-stop and my ISO figured out, if my light's too bright, well I need to I need to scrim it down or pull it back or something just so I can keep that consistent so that the look stays the same. Yeah. So um, but yeah, I think I think those are some other than focus. Uh, those are some first ABC responsibilities that uh, I've been thinking about this week, and um, but yeah, I think. The number one is good attitude. Good. Well, let me ask yeah. you some just some uh, etiquette issues on set. Sure. Where do you want the first AC to be? Okay, so our first AC is on this side. Okay. Yep. So. Um, and why is that? Because on well on bigger cameras bigger, on the Alexa yeah. camera I've got my eyepiece right here. You're running off the eyepiece. And so and, and all, all right. of my camera control is here. So if I say I want a sharper shutter, he'll be able to change that dial in for me. I don't have those controls on this side. If I want a different ISO, he'll be able to dial that in. Um, he's also in charge of making sure that Video Village is up. So if you've got a director that needs a monitor, or if you've got an agency that says we need to see an image of this, he'll be able to take care of where your monitor is, if you're sending the signal wirelessly or through a BNC cable. So there's, there's a lot of things that a first AC is responsible for. Um, and and it's, it's great for a DP. So you, I mean, if you, if you have any kind of a production, then you really need one. Okay, so, so he or she's going to run the cables to the monitors, they're going to be... In charge of lens, lens changes and labeling and making sure that all my settings are the same and dialing camera and then, of course, focus. So, I mean, it's like they have a lot of things going on. So are they kind of a backup if uh, they should be making sure, well, you're on the right f-stop, you're... Like, just to give you a backup so that... Right, so they're, they're double-checking things all the time, right? Okay. So, so if, if for whatever reason my aperture gets bumped and I'm now at a 4, 5, 6 split, They'll be able to say, you're at a four, five, six split. Do you want to be there? And I can then say, no, I want to be at a four. Okay. So are they responsible to break the camera down, put yep. that all away? That's the, that's the, the best the part day. for me. <laughs> you, <laughs> you walk hear, away. You hear rap from a director and you walk, you just go, okay, that's great. And you walk away and then, then the AC takes the camera off and he breaks everything down and makes sure all the cables go in the right place and, and that you're ready to go for the next day. So it's, it's, uh, it's a very important job and I, and I feel like it's, it's quickly Fading, actually. I, I don't, I don't have, well, the budget's just not there anymore. Yeah. You know, people are going, okay, we want to hire you and you can operate camera by yourself, right? And it's like, well, sure, if I'm on an A7S or a C100, yeah. that's what they're built for, you know, but if you're shooting on an Alexa and sometimes even a Red, it's, it's designed to have it's a good. first Two AC sides, right yeah. there operator this side. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great job, very important job. And I've been thinking about it this week since. I've been teaching someone how to do it. He's doing great. His name is Mac. He's, he's learned so much in a, in a couple of weeks here, and he's, he's been fantastic. Great. Any other workflow tips? Any other? No, I think that's, that's all I got for now. Um, post in the comments if you have any other suggestions for first day be good. Tips. Oh, here's, here's, here's another tip. Um, there's, some people will run tape measures out to talent mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that your focus is good, um, to, to create marks for the lens. Um, make sure you get a tape measure that's not like that metal snappy kind of tape measure. Okay. Because those are a lot more intimidating and actually can kind of be dangerous if you run one out and actually Zip like let back. go. And yeah, so so get like a, a paper tape measure hmm. or one of those plastic things that don't zip back that you actually have to wind it, wind up. Oh yeah, yeah. So those are a little bit safer and less intimidating yeah. for talent. Talent's very sensitive 
subject. You don't want to. You don't want to push the talent too far. <laughs> oh yeah. I'll stay behind the camera. Oh, wait. Wait a second. All right. So here we go. And we're talking about ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a little tip from Trends from the Trenches uh, on being a good first AC. So check out this entire segment. Go to thesunlens.com where you'll see all these stitched together. Or you also have our podcast. Podcast. Yeah, Trends from the Trenches podcast. Subscribe to the podcast. Listen to it on your drive to work or while you're doing your homework. If you're a multitasking person. Kind of person. I'm just not. But if you are, that's, that's incredible. <laughs> Teach me how. There you go. Keep those cameras rolling and keep on clicking. Keep this camera rolling and keep on clicking.